Hey, it's James from Feeling Electrical, and today's video, we're installing this up here. Let's get into this. There we go, so we've picked up the Zappy from the wholesalers then. We've got the EV Ultra cable, so in that you've got your 3 core and you've got your data, your CTs. We've got some compression glands and some cleats, but yeah, I'm not feeling it today. <laughs> been a bit rough over the past few days so today it should be interesting uh, Brian's coming down he's going to drop him off a little, little EV board for what he's doing uh, should be fun today right so we're back on the job then where we are where we did the fuse board change over the electrician told us tales which are cool he had some old stories if you remember that video uh, but yeah we've got this one then so single pole and neutral so it's switching both so we could use this as a double pole RCBO to meet the regulations for the uh, for the regs. Again, it's not an armoured cable, it's just like a, a high tough cable. So we're going to get that clip down, drilled through, run along the uh, garage, up into the zappy outside, and then this is this will protect the circuit essentially, so it should be all set up for us. So it should look like a nice, neat and sweet job. But yeah, let's get this uh, these EV boards delivered to Brian. And then we'll get down to the job then. So this is the board we've got actually. There we go. It's called White Cliff. They're nice little units to be fair. The tiny little board. So this is the if you have to put your board inside. Have a look. So it's all you need. You got your surge, surge protection in there. That's a double pole RC, RCD type A. That's all you need really. So it's super easy. So you can install that, chop into your tail, chop, chop into it like your, your tail's coming and then just install a little box, then send the cable out to your charger. Or we've got the IP version, which can sit outside. Let's show you this one then. So this allows us to be competitive with, with the other people selling EV essentially. So we can't get an undercut. Because if we bought this from the wholesalers, it'd be like 100, I don't know, over 100 quid for like the setup. But that there is, that was 35 quid. <laughs> we shouldn't bet at all, is it? And this was 55 quid, I think. So it just means we can we can drop its prices a little bit and just be more competitive uh, with other people. Uh, so it's the same labour. You still get paid the same, but it's just the material is a bit cheaper. So this is your plastic version then. So you can install that outside. Kind of drill through into your outside box, nick your tails, and then just blend out of that into your EV charger. So. There you go, so nice little top tip then if you're doing EV, you can pick up these boards, they meet, they meet regs and it just means you can meet the octopus, you know what I mean, the people on octopus are going, oh you can have a charger installed for 999 including that, it's like flipping it, so we're going to we're gonna do a charger for 750 plus that, it's, it's quite hard to land that when the materials cost above anyway. Enough of my ranting, here's Brian, here we go, Brian's here. But look at this, so this is the first job. She, she could smell some fishy smell and she'd like to like like to come out today, but look at that. Oh. That was bad that. You, you were radio put in. Was it? It won't fasten so you can see new cables. You're joking. Who did that? No idea, they got an EV charges fit, so could be that, I don't know. There we go. Right, we're to the job then. So we're back. So if you remember the last time we did the, the fuse board, we did it all there, looking nice and tasty. Should have a little sneaky peek, see how it's doing. Here we go, this is the feed board from last time, look at that. <coughs> Looking very nice. So yeah, we're going to add to that then essentially. And drill through, send the cable through the garage, up and into the charger then. So we're going to use the EV Ultra cable. It's got the three core and it's got the the Cat5 essentially inside which can extend the CTs. So these got solar, so we'll, we'll, we'll actually be able to use the solar feature on the Zappy as well, which is pretty cool. All right then, let's get this Zappy mount on then. So I've already held it up for the customer so you can see if you wanted it down there or here. But he wants it in line with this like to the top of the charger. So what I'll do then is get that installed then. So all you do is just lift this off then. There's like a little ribbon cable you can just attach. It's worth doing that just to make sure. Right, just, just so it's not flapping. You don't want to kind of have the weight of that just uh, kind of balanced off the, well, hanging off the ribbon cable, not ideal. I'm going to keep all this in the box, just so it doesn't scratch up the lead. But yeah, I'm just going to pop these out then, get this offered up, get them marked out, and then all we have to do is drill a 30mm, 32mm hole there, and get a compression gland installed for that. I think that'll be a, a better job. I'm just hoping there's enough room between here and the front, 
where the cable can pop through. We shall see. Yeah, I'll get this drill next then. There we go, look at that for a shot then. So towards the end then, you just kind of quiet off a little bit. Take it off hammer and hope it doesn't split the brick. Let's see if we can do with this. Can we split the brick? Split the liver? Split the brick. Right, it looks good that. So, I don't think the EV Ultra cable fits through that size so It might do. We'll give it a go. Might be just round it off a little bit. Bore it out a little bit just to do that. That's better than trying to next size up's like a 20 and it'll be overly sized really well we'll see all right we'll give him a go then let's get this unleashed there we go i'll try and get him pushed through right we've got the cable through the cavity then that's what we had to do we'll just use a bit of uh i just had some tails shove that through tied them to the end and then that kind of guided it through so a little top tip there for you but yeah what we're going to do then is, is go around this Kind of come down, round and up into here. We'll get this properly fixed back now. And uh, yeah, that's about it. We'll get this wired up then. So it's uh, basically just live neutral earth or line neutral earth. And then um, there's something, these are the CTs then. So we'll make CT1 uh, measuring the house's load. We'll make CT2 measuring the house's solar. And that's it really. There we go then, so that's all wired up then. So we've got those cables pushed into there. So they're like little push terminals. It's got line neutral earth. And then that's your CTs then. So it's just gone for brown for positive, brown white for negative, then orange for positive and orange white for negative for CT2. There we go. Just get this lid back on then. So it's just got a little fly lead. That just plugs in like that. Hit that. Easy. There we go, that's the uh, that's the zappy all wired up. That's looking pretty straight, isn't it? Come along, for junk. Bring in your car, jobs are good. Huh? Quite a neat little thing, really. Right? So I've just got to get it tapped along now. That's going to pee off down that way. And then over to the fuse board area. The bus through at the right height, which should be fun. So just a note then, you need to get a photo of the SN number, which is just hiding behind here. I won't show you this customer's SN number. But basically, you need that later, you need the SN number and you need the, so I think, there's basically two numbers you need, I can't remember what the other one's called. <laughs> but you type that in the app and then it appears on your app, all your charge settings and everything, so that's how it works. Now this cable's gonna come along this seam, so I've measured from this floor to here, this floor to here, this floor to here. So that mark then, I kinda of wanna drill from here that way, cause it'll land behind the door. If I drill from that side, this side, We'll take a big piece out of this side, so that's his mark there. So we're gonna hopefully pop around this area really. So we'll set this drill piece in there nice and straight and flat. And hopefully it'll pop out the right seam this side then. So I'm just gonna angle it. I don't have to angle it. It'll pop out there, but if we send it on a slight angle, it'll come into that, that room on an angle, which will swoop in a bit nicer. So but it should pop out. Roughly in this area. Let's get the long drill built out and get drilling. Right, we're just going to sort out the setup basically. So it's going to go through these options then. First device installed. I'm going to click all the way through. And then essentially, what we're going to do. <clears throat> is get the Zappy connected up. Uh, so you basically, the Zappy creates like a Wi-Fi signal, you log into that, you type in the customer's Wi-Fi password, uh, Wi-Fi password essentially, and then it'll start to download all the all the uh, data packets. So just a big firmware update essentially, that takes ages. So we're just doing the CTs now, so this is the house CT. So obviously it's got a direction of the side that goes towards the house. I'm gonna picture of the grid. So it's the grids that way. So it needs to go that way around. As soon as you clamp this in, you'll get a voltage. You'll get an induced current, essentially. So you just gotta watch out for that, because you will get a little tingle off it if you do that first. <laughs> right, I've already connected this end up then, so essentially that's your K1 
cable. Look, that's your Cat5 essentially within that EV Ultra. You've got two spare uh, pairs there. And we use one pair for CT1 if you look, and one pair for CT2. So all we have to do then is just set those two in the charger. I'll show you how to do that to the load of the site or grid, I think they called it. And then one to four generation for the solar. So all we're going to do then is just clamp this other one around the cable going out to the solar. If it's uh, producing any power running this way, it will actually, uh, we'll be able to see on the app and we'll be able to pull that um, export, if it's exporting, into the car. Yeah, that's all set up in the app then. <clears throat> so as you can see, there's uh, the 200 watts there, or 0.2 kilowatts coming in from the solar. Uh, the house is using 400 watts and it's pulling 200 watts from the grid to kind of match that. So there we go. So the, uh, the solar's actually doing spot on a cloudy day, so that's pretty decent. But yeah, on this then you've got the, if you click the car then, like the schedule when you want it to charge, if you want, if you want like cheaper tariffs, so you can bang it on like a manual mode and just plug and play and just use the fast function then. Uh, so you can use the Eco Plus mode where you're able to charge your car for free. Um, so obviously you need some decent generation if you want it to charge much. So that's it. So a nice integrated app. Um, yeah, that's Zappy from My Energy. There we go. So just tested it off using the My Energy official little car charger tester. So right, isn't it? So on this then you can uh, see if it's unplugged, plugged in, ready to be charging and actually charging so you can fold the charge to, 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 to let it think that it's charging you see now I'm going to film that bit but I've, uh, I was showing the customer instead <laughs> I don't know well, that's that zappy in then so that's looking absolute brilliant no expense spared we've got the EV Ultra cable <coughs> which looks a lot neater so what all these companies do which just lash them in they'll get some normal armoured cable and then just attach a big wiggly cable next to it and tie up it on it looks awful so we've Going for the nice sleek look all the way to the charger. So we've got some extra pairs there as well. So we've got uh, two extra pairs if, if he wants to see to anything else. Uh, so on that then, he's, he can tell his generation, which he didn't know before, because there's no app with his old system, his old um, solar system. It's like an old inverter, but you can see exactly what he's generating. And then he can see it uh, export then. So he can put it on the Eco Plus mode or whatever and bring the export into his car, charge his car for free, which is pretty cool. So tell me what you think about the Zappy charger then. So we've got the nice white one, we've got the tethered one. Tell me if you like the tethered or the untethered in the comments below. But yeah, we definitely like the, uh, I think the tethered looks pretty cool. And you don't have to just pull up, get get your lead out of your boat or whatever, and then plug into your car, plug into there. You can just literally go whip, whip, plug in, press charge, done. Easy peasy. But yeah, if you like this kind of content, then hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when next upload. As always, have a good one from me, and I'll see you on the next one.